Cameron team, we're going to be able to reveal the physics behind Newton's three laws of motion. So Newton's first law says that an object at rest will stay at rest, and objects in motion will stay in motion until they're affected by outside forces. So this tendency of objects to resist changes in motion is called inertia. So it makes sense that Newton's first law is called the law of inertia. Ah, see that acrobat at rest? Because of his inertia, he will stay that way until some force is applied to him. So the counterbalance actually applies a downward force on his end of the rope, which then applies an upward force on the acrobat on the opposite end. Right there. Yeah, right there. See it? Well, the initial force applied to circus performer is needed to make the acrobat change velocity or accelerate. Let's watch this in slow motion to see if we can see that force applied and the acceleration. Oh, that's where they use Newton's second law. And that's where we add some math, too. Newton's second law says that the force acting on something is equal to the object's mass multiplied by its acceleration. If these troopers want greater acceleration, or if they're accelerating a more massive object, they need to use more force. And of course, our bodies know that instinctively when doing stuff like these troopers. But did you ever stop to think about the equation behind it? So if they apply a force to accelerate one of these troopers, what happens if they use too much or too little force? I mean, somebody could get hurt. Oh, did you see that? How did he accelerate like that? Well, obviously we know some force was involved, yet no other person was there to toss him. Where do you think the force came from? Hmm, I suppose old Newton pondered that question too. And that's what led to his third law. For every force, there's an equal and opposite force. It makes perfect sense when we look at it. When she wants to do a flip, she pushes down on the ground. The ground exerts an equal and opposite force on her mass. This pushes her up so she can do a flip. I wish I had this summer job. I wonder if there's an age limit. They must have practiced like crazy to land those flips. I wonder if understanding Newton's laws of motion would help them perfect their acts. So do you know what laws of physics were involved in your act today? Um, probably like inertia and momentum, but aside from that, the faster I tumble, uh, the higher I can get. Um, and depending on where I place my feet, if it's straight down on the ground or a little bit of an angle, it depends on how far I jump backwards and how high I jump. <laughs> you can't do anything in circus without a lot of physics. For example, um, so with juggling, you know, uh, acceleration, uh, you throw the ball and you want the ball to be in the air a certain amount of time. If you want like to double the time, you need to quadruple the height because you know it's squared. And other things like flips, uh, physics is really important for that. For example, conservation of angular momentum. You jump up, and when you first jump, you know, you're in a layout position, you know, your body's straight. And then to flip faster, you bring it into a tuck. And so by spinning faster, you know, you're gonna get your feet around under you. You know, it's really easy to understand, but then to actually like do it, it's like, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you try to pull in the tuck. It's like, oh no, my abs aren't strong enough. I want to be a circus trooper, so mm -hmm. what do I need? What, what kind of advice? Well, you need to practice hard, you need to climb those ropes, and you need to study physics. Yeah, that's right. 
Let's talk about physics. Now see if you can identify some examples of Newton's three laws of motion in your own life. And write down in your journal how inertia, force, and equal and opposite forces affect your favorite sport, like jumping off a diving board. Oh, with a bit of practice, I am sure I could join this circus. I mean, how hard can it be? So, may the forces of motion be with you and never stop exploring your world. Woo!